one of the merchants. Hello. Good afternoon. I thought you were bringing a lord, not afternoon. a mercenary. <clears throat> I would request, he humble merchant, lord. that you recognize Lord Erdhart and treat him oh, as such. that's the Lord Erhart. A pleasure to meet you. Terribly sorry. Perhaps, uh, perhaps I didn't get a good look at your attire. Arm is a choice. Don't get too close. <clears throat> Welcome. Take a seat. Take a seat. Thank My you. lord, please, uh, if you would. Don't get too close to that one. He's been rolling in the stables a bit too long. Dare I ask? It's my job. He uh, with right. Horses. I'm a horse merchant. Uh, I gotta right. work with horses. My, my fellow merchants, I appreciate you uh, attending to this meeting on such short notice. Uh, obviously, you realize what is at stake here. Of course, I've brought our patron, the good Lord Erd Arts, before you. So he may offer you all the assurances you will seek in this new endeavor of ours. Pleasure uh, to meet you all. It's a pleasure. 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 Now, obviously the uh, Lord's time is very important, but we wish to hit on any uh, hesitations you might have. So is anyone here willing to begin to speak to the Lord? <coughs> I shall let Lois speak first. Hmm. Thanks. Of what kind of security time. can be provided if we all agree to this? Well, Lord, uh, I didn't catch your name, I apologize. That's totally fine. Samuel <laughs> Laveau. <laughs> pleasure. Security-wise, the wharf itself would be inside the Nordis proper walls. As you've noticed, we've recently had them constructed as against the orc threat. Furthermore, yes. you'll notice it is right next to the Imperial Dock, which I assure you is the word teeming with guards is a little bit of an understatement. They want to protect their own ships, and, well, they want to protect our best interests, too. Now, once the wharf is actually properly built, we would be creating more of a patrol route for our own guards, Nautus guards proper as well. We want to ensure the security of everything, boats and goods. I was curious about that. Uh, so, you're saying that the Imperial Presence, despite, I'm sure we all remember, the incident of the salt wart, whatever it was called, exploding in the harbor, are we sure they're going to be the biggest protection? The stalwart was the one that sank into the harbor. We lost a lot of men in that. Yes. <clears throat> yes, they are. I can assure you after that fiasco, they're watch has been doubled, so to speak. They have a bone to pick with uh, scallywags, as it were. I'm sure you can understand mm. why. So, pirates are <clears throat> not a concern in this, then? No. As I'm sure you know, most of the pirates themselves are more located around uh, Blackwater? Blackrock. Blackrock. <clears throat> mm. No point of them coming here. The only thing further Still. this way is Edgemith Loss, and I'm sure you know how they handle pirates. Well, there was that incident to the town to the... Uh, what is that? Uh, east? Yes. Um, what is the name of it? That port town. Do you... Well, on the hill, Cassetto, Yes! There was an incident at Cassetto with, a, with some pirates a few months back. If you recall. I'm afraid I don't. Remind me? Uh, from my understanding, there was an incident regarding a, uh, a free trader crew that were securing uh, slaves illegally. They uh, had no right, yes. uh, authority to operate. And Ooh. why do you think they based themselves out of Coricatus? No, not Coricatus. I'm blanking on the name. Cosetto. Cosetto. Why do you yes. think they base themselves out of Cosetto and not Nautus? Right? 
further reach from the law, I suppose. Exactly. We have a firm hold on everything here. Security is not an issue, nor it will be an issue. Mm. Uh, is there anyone else who feels well, security is a concern? Security not an issue, but there is another one. Um, all the warehouses, will we be able to buy them down there? And if so, can we stock them and not worry about thieves coming, you know, with all this protection that they have down there? Uh, yes, with protection, I would hope that there wouldn't be any thieves. That kind of is the point of the protection. As for the warehouses themselves, my lord, I believe that's your territory, as you would be the construction. Yes, lord. yes, my lord. Uh, I am, of course, more than happy to rent out all these spaces uh, that we will be building along the wharf. Uh, but outright purchasing them, I'm afraid, would have to be a much longer and much more involved negotiation. Uh, I am not willing to split up my wharf before I even build it. You know, I could provide an awful good investment. That is, of course, a conversation we can have, my lord, but one for another day. We are here, so the lord oh, can goodness. assure you and make sure that you are all behind this project. Uh, <coughs> lord Samuel, does that uh, answer to your concerns, or do you have any further questions? Oh. Part of it. Um, mm. I guess the next one is more of a two-parter. Seeing as how, uh, you know, it'll be more used for trading and stuff. Does that mean the dock will be off limits to all the riffraff trying to make their way down there? Well, I would hope that the dock itself would be used purely for business purposes. We're not just going to let people wander their way down there unless they have a reason to be there, right? That seems fair yes, enough. This is a job, correct? Correct. Yes. And the second part, um, are slaves going to be okay going down there? I know your family has a history of not liking that sort of thing being used. Y yes, I. That that is a valid point, is it not? Uh, <clears throat> I own I own a good few that uh tend to do my dirty work for me. So, the use of them down there could prove invaluable, especially when it comes to loading and offloading <clears throat> cargo. I realize your personal opinion on the matter, my lord, but it is, strictly speaking, entirely legal. <clears throat> While the use of slaves itself is not illegal in Nortis, nor all of Gradia for that matter. My own personal opinion is that it is highly immoral. I can't stop you. Morals be damned. Morals are what make a person. Morals are what you have when your money goes away, your slaves go away, your house goes away. The morals is what sticks with you. Regardless, I can't stop you from but bringing morals slaves. Morals can also be the reason why your money and everything else goes away. Uh, my lord, Precisely. please, he is trying to agree with you. If you would hear him out, please. Very well, very well, continue. I can't... <clears throat> Well, actually, no, I can. I can deny you slaves to work on the docks, but I understand that they are an incredibly important part of all of your businesses, and, well, we all want to improve the town, we all want to get a little richer, don't we? So I will allow it, Precisely. however, I will not allow any abuse to happen. I will not allow the punishments of slaves to happen on the docks, you're welcome to do them on your own boats, but the docks themselves... Never. Never on the docks. It's a private personal matter. Please, to do that in public is shameful. The concept of using slaves here, I will be honest with all of you, is hanging by a thread. If any of you abuse that in any way, shape, or form, I will cut ties. I do not care. Of course. Of course. We're not monsters, uh, Lord. <laughs> a very agreeable stance. Yeah. One I think we can all agree is within the best uh, points of notice and its continued prosperity. Uh, 
No. I don't have slaves, so I have no say in this. I will also... I do not agree with any slave trade coming in through this dock. I.e., you're not to bring slaves into Nortis through this dock. You're allowed to use them for work and to help you. No trading. Find other ways. That's what we have Cassetto for. Very not. Any other Ooh. concerns? Hmm. <laughs> quiet if, over there. If, say, some of the products or merchandise is to be of, say, jewels or gems, how am I sure that they are going to actually be protected from <clears> thieves? <throat> I believe we've addressed this. The, the Lord has given these yes, personal really assurances. Sense. You'll have access to the town yard of Nautis, along with the Imperials, so long as they remain here. Well, about at are night, you... Though? I assure you, the guard continue at night as well. Don't worry. <clears throat> as for... Well, as well as everything that Nautis itself can offer, I would also encourage that you bring your own guards. If you're transporting highly important jewels or whatnot, I mean, now, if a, a question for you, uh, if, if I may be so bold, you, you talk, talk about the the, the wolf being placed within the walls, but as far as I can see, the dog space within the walls has all been taken up. Unless you're proposing it on building on the unstable foundation of the cobblestone to the lighthouse, where exactly is this being built? We are using that land exactly, my lord, and I would ask you to not question my craftsmanship or skill. I will have a wharf down on that water, and it will be the it finest... It is a genuine concern, I'm sure you understand. You will get all the chances you want in the world, my lord, to test that dock when I'm finished with it. If you do not believe me... I presume my lord would also like to speak to my own skill. Absolutely. You've already proven yourself to be a good craftsman, at the very least. You've proven yourself an entrepreneur. You have a mind for this sort of stuff. I assure you, this project is in good hands. And as he said, once it's built, you're free to come and have a look at it. Walk around, jump on it if you want. I'm sure it will hold up. Right, Lord. Uh, oh, I'm not to question your craftsmanship. Worry not. I know the Dawi are proud people who are very good craftsmen. Yet, mm. you also understand my concern, do you not? I'm sure it will be great, and I will be down there to test it. But, yes. again, <clears throat> the foundation built on sand is unstable. A foundation built on loose stone is unstable. If need uh, be, I can, if it'll get this dock done quicker, and perhaps provide me a bit of a spot, I could possibly provide something. Logs, foundation, and something to put in place. I wish to fund this. Such negotiations, maybe. <coughs> Such negotiations, my lord, will be... More than happy to accept under advisement. However, the purpose of this meeting was that Lord Erdhart can assure all of you that this is a project worth investing in at all. So, does anyone have any other further objections to bring? <sighs> Not objections, so you know my questions. Stats? What if the Imperials leave? Are the Erdharts going to guard it? Or do we have to rely on the, the town guard? We know how good they are. Well, obviously, primarily, we would have the town guard. That is a good question. And as I've said before, I would highly advise bringing your own protection as well, if you feel that dis strongly about it. I mean, we can go around in circles about this, if you want, but the security is the security. It's as good as it can be. Very We're only well. improving it. It's only getting better. And if you're hesitant about it, bring your own security. Your businessman, protect your assets. Mm. Hey, bring your own security, yeah? If you're concerned about it, if you want to keep poking holes in this, we can, but I would stand that this is a good deal. 
and I am a very busy person. Oh, I, I will definitely agree with you, Lord Earhart. This Great. is a good deal. This benefits all of us. Are there any other concerns, then? <sighs> the concerns remain. Okay, what are they? Aside from the uh, ones that have been brought up, no. So no concerns remain? No more. Fantastic. Aside from the ones that, are, that I have brought up. <sighs> My lord, my lady, I would agree with Lord Eldard here. We are now talking in circles. He has addressed the facts. He is going to be pushing for security as much as possible within his own purview, relying upon the town guard and your own security therein, along with the Imperials, so long as they remain. He has allowed you the usage of your slaves upon the docks, as long as you adhere to his stipulations about not punishing them publicly, not over-punishing them, and not bringing slaves in through the dock itself, which is a sticking point I will grant you, my lord, but I am sure the lords here, if they agree, will fight their utmost to uphold it. Yes? Of course. Yes. Of course. It's just shameful to do, in, mm. do it in public anyway. I've already stated that much. Now... Further matters of concern, as they come up, will be addressed as properly as I can. However, I need to hear from each of you in turn that you give your agreeance to this plan or not. So speak now. I, I am in agreement. I agree to it. Jeremiah and Klaus agree. And then Lord Erdhart holds your loyalty on this. And to see it through to the end. Of course. Right, wonderful. Well, we have done, we have conducted business. Good. Mm. I'm sure we can work out individual deals and whatnot as they pop up. Most certainly, my lord. If you wish to address anyone personally, feel free to do so, but... If you have need to leave and take care of your other duties, by all means. I think we all have an understanding. Mm. And if you don't mind... Very good. I have to fight a war. Um, that would explain the armor. Yeah. Very well. Question. Are you holding uh. a orange in a book? If I am, it's news to me. No. What kind you know what? Here, take them. A gift. Yep, I need to wait for them to move. I wish not to sit here any longer. Uh, I have more good. personal matters to attend to. Are we done here? Can I go? Yes, we're too lowly for you. We understand. Wonderful. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. You all did go back to the Yes, I hope your dad can support the work of the Hopefully the uh, cost will not outweigh the benefits.
Never mind. He's not here. Is he here? If I turn this corner and he's not here, I swear to he left. I had to discipline a guard because he left his post and he just left it again as soon as I left. Oh. Oh, good luck with that. Thank you. <laughs> what? <sighs> you know, I, I would have slapped what? the shit out of you, honestly. 
Why? Last... Your magic can't catch me? No, because last I saw you, you were leading away a bunch of people on horses. I think the word you're looking for is thank you, actually. Plus, is that just not in your noble vocabulary anymore? Thank you. You didn't need to. But it worked. Didn't it? It did. Unless you got caught, because then it was all for nothing. No, did you get caught? Mm. Nope. Guess not. Good. This mm. is where you go, ooh, I'm so impressed. <clears throat> Good job, Ayla. Ooh, I'm so impressed. Good job, Ayla. Like, maybe it's like a little bit more from like, like the gut. Like Ooh, I'm so impressed. Good job, Ayla. Can I, can I get like an, cause you said ooh, it kind of almost sounded like ooh, ooh now I want to hear it. Like ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, I'm so impressed. Great job, Ayla. <laughs> Happy now? <sighs> yeah, that was, it was worth almost dying for. 100%. Where have you been? Larno. Hanging low. Didn't exactly want to come back with everything going on over there. Yeah, it's a whole fucking thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Not much to report there, though. They don't have a lot going on over there. Over there being... Malarno. Ah, oh, yes. They still have the palisade up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Having a good time. <laughs> You've been keeping out of trouble, right? Uh, define keeping out of trouble. You're not hurting anyone, stealing from anyone important, causing issues. Mm, okay, so hear me out. In my defense, that guy didn't deserve to have all that money because he was an asshole and uh -huh. I needed to eat. So, kind of like <laughs> half, but like, you know. It's a steal from the rich, give to yourself kind of thing. Yeah, because remember, self love is the most important love. And I love myself a lot. <sighs> yeah, I'm still working on that. It's okay. You got enough people to do it for you. You're still alive, though. Not work child, that's fun. <clears throat> yeah, not from lack of trying, though. Been fighting orcs. Ooh, well... So the oranges you eat, you're too citrusy and gross. They don't like you. No, they pick me up and throw me pretty consistently, actually. <laughs> oh, you're not into that anymore? Shit. Okay. Out I don't of what? Know. You stretch it. Nothing. I think I bust my foot. Yeah, I'm like, doing my calisthenics. Uh, but also, I think my foot busts. Nah, no, I'm good. You still do calisthenics. Well, I was, you know, establishing dominance. As we're talking, might as well keep it going, right? Sure. Gotta keep running for my life. <laughs> right, so. How are you? Oh, I'm still doing it. I'm committed now. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> oh, yep. So, how are things? Busy. In fact, I only just got back to town. I've been out of the county for a while. Still catching up on everything I missed. Oh, know? boo. I'm surprised Doing you didn't what? notice. Lord stuff. Mm, I'll be honest, I've been kind of between not being or chow. It makes it really hard to hide outside of the walls lately. And then hiding in the walls are, uh, you know, the whole like gonna die thing. Still not a fan of that. Heard anything from them? Yeah. No, thankfully, which is, well, I don't know if that's good or bad. To be perfectly honest. I wanna, I wanna hope that maybe with the orc stuff, maybe they just forgot about this. <coughs> I can just, you know, live my life, get a couple cats, settle down. Maybe they think you're dead. Candle shop, maybe? Candle shop? Oh, that's... Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how much goods you can sneak in candles? Think about it. So you melt the wax down, right? Mm-hmm. And then you put whatever you're trying to, like, move over, like, borders or through gates into the candles. And then when you melt them, you get the shit back. Spice. Knives. All that shit. 
candle shop. Candle shop. Yeah. I struggle to see you working behind a counter of any store. I'll be honest. It's not actually. So it's not actually a candle shop. It's a front for basically moving goods from one place to the other. Right. See, I take the deals. It's like clandestine midnight deals. And they're like, I need you, Ayla, to get this in here. And I'm like, no problem, I got you. Here's my candle. And he goes, why would I need a candle? And I go, that's the brilliant part. See, we, we, we put it in the candle, and then we deliver the candle to where it needs to go. Because a guard's not going to check a candle. Where's a guard? You know what? You don't see the brilliance in my idea. It's fine. I, I wasn't disagreeing. I see the brilliance. No, it's, it's, it's very creative. Thank you. That's... I'm sorry I got the brains and the beauty, but, you know, just how it is. That was well, never in question. Of the year. <laughs> so, you're back then? Yeah. What do you do now? More Lord stuff. I just gotta have a meeting with a bunch of them. Oh, gross. They all wanna poke holes in what you're trying to do and then fill it with their own stuff, you know? Yeah, that sounds like nobles. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if they didn't put you, poke you through the holes, like, actually after they're done with you and toss you overboard. No, they've tried. We kind of, um, <clears throat> I don't know if you saw, but my house basically butchered about a third of the nobles that exist in this province. Yeah, that was a really wicked party. I was actually thinking about, like, sneaking in and saying hi, and then you guys kind of killed every- well. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they were corrupt. I'll have a power play. No real loss. Good. Cut them all down. Surprised you didn't ask. I could have helped. I needed... Those guys just rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, trust me. I know. No, it needed to be done in the confines of the law, because as you said, the way we did it definitely solidified our power. You know? I mean, that's kind of a power move, though. You just, like, show up and you're like... Whoa. Yeah. My dick, my table. No, you definitely helped with the process, though. That stuff we got from Telor Keep, that was all the evidence we needed to, uh... Well, it was part of all the evidence we needed to put them away. Well, I say put them away. Put them in the ground. I'm so glad you brought that up, because as somebody that really did as much as I could for the cause, I feel like it's time for you to pay me back. I did promise, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Do you remember what you promised? Yes, I did remember. Mm -hmm. I just want to hear you say it. We're going to go have a nice picnic at night. I believe that was the deal. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so about the picnic part, um, I don't really know how we're supposed to get the food for that. <sighs> well, we are kind of in a famine right now. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Look, this was your idea. You get the food, however. Just... What yeah. the fuck? I didn't know, like, so much of the work went away. You to said, you said, you I'll set everything up, I'll just show up and take you to a nice picnic, and I said, okay. I could bring wine. Yeah, but plans have changed. Okay, well, what if, what if the plan is I get the blanket? Like, one of those, like, nice ones, lay on, I can get a right? blanket. I, okay, but, but then I was, fine, get the, you know what? You, you're right, you can get the blanket, and when you're getting the blanket, you can get all the food. Why do I have, like, T-Rex legs today? I thought you were... They're weird. ...up on something. You know, I'm not, actually. That's the weirdest part. I think I've grown. I think I need new armor. <laughs> it's grown too big for my armor, you know? You've grown. Growing girl. Yeah. Some of us do that, Kyler. We don't all stay as small as you. I've grown. I've got muscles now. I know. I know this. <laughs> <laughs> I can get... The blanket and the wine. Well, that's really all we need, to be fair. <laughs> Not really a picnic, though. I mean, grapes are considered a food, whether or not they're in liquid or solid form. Let's we'll see. How are you doing that? This? Oh, do you not know that this is just, this is just all me. This is literally, how I'm, do you not remember? I'm quite familiar, yes. Yeah, this is just all me. I don't, I don't know why you're judging me. I just, just means I've uh, stayed limber.
Do you think I'm losing it? Like, your charm, your flair, your sass, your edge. Like, what do you mean? I mean, that last mission we were on, I fumbled through pretty much everything, you know? I didn't oh, like unlock a single your door. Edge? I mean, maybe... Kinda. The only reason I wasn't killed on the oh, boat I mean, is because you stabbed him in the back. Yeah, I know. Look, I don't want to be a dick, but, like, you did it all the time because you had to. Like, out of necessity, right? Yeah. Now you don't have to do that, so those skills are going to get, like, rusty. I get that, I just... It was expect? the thing I was good at, you know? And kind of losing that in place of other things, it's... I don't know. Having doubts. I mean, you're good at other things. I'm good, but right? I was great at being sneaky and killing and pick-locking, locking picks, and now I'm just... I feel mean... like I'm good at it. We could change that. We could practice more. <sighs> hmm? Practice how? I mean, there's plenty of people I feel like we could relocate and... Redistribute the, the wealth to the common people in the form of the people that are definitely hoarding food right now. Go on, Sam. I'll consider it. That sounds like a noble's answer. I want the Kyler answer. I like the idea. I need, a me I need to wrestle with the morals of it. Oh, there's no morals of taking food from people that are clearly hoarding it when the masses should have it too. And who are these people? A couple nobles. There's this one guy. I don't know who the hell he is. The new owner of the vineyard. Tons of food just hanging around, doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah, he's a piece of work, that one. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Look, we could have wine, blanket, and caper. What more could we want? And you owe me. And you owe me. I owe you. That doesn't mean I need to steal from people. Fine. Whatever. I'll think on it. Be a stick in the mud. Sorry, what would you prefer to do, my lord? Would you like to do a courtly dance, perhaps? Hmm? I still haven't got dancing down right. <clears throat> you should probably work on that. I think that's important or something. I don't know. I've been told it's important, but all the dance moves I know people say aren't good enough for the court, so I just, you know. Ah, uh, I mean... You used to be graceful. I can't say if you're graceful now. Especially if I could tell or keep. I'm just saying. Oh. No need to remind me. A little rusty. Oh, it was, it was kind of cute. I wish you stumbled and almost fell off things. I think you were doing it on purpose. I wish I was. No, I got it. It's awkward to be close again. You need an excuse. Yeah, you were just showing off, smooth. though. I know! Were you impressed? A little. See, that's what I want to hear. Gas me up. Gas you up. Yeah! You're good at what you do. I think I earned it. You're better than when I... I know. Well, better than before. I had to get better. When you weren't around and everything else went on. It was dead or die. It was usually the case, though, wasn't it? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Is it weird to say I miss it? Even though, like, I'm, I guess, happy for you that you've got shit going well? I get it. I miss the simplicity of it, you know? It was very much, we have to do this, or else we have to do this. Now there's... You can't do this because it annoys this person, or we have to do it this way so that the people look at us in a certain way. It's a lot more complicated now. Mm. But I'm in a position to do some real good here. 
Ayla. I can make sure people don't have to have those choices. Mm -hmm. Like we did. Uh... I mean, in theory, yeah. Uh, you know how these things work already. Yeah. It's not that simple. I have to try, though, right? Yeah, you wouldn't be stubborn, Kyler, if you didn't try. <laughs> Just means I get to laugh while I help out. And I really like saying I told you so. I know. It's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. So, fun fact. After I left you and I peeled off, those guys were just super blood hungry. Like, the amount of times I almost got caught, absolutely insane. But, funny enough, once you make a guy mad enough to follow you that deep into the woods, they totally don't realize when they ride their horse off a cliff. Felt bad for the horse, not so much for the guy. <sighs> Tricky. Mm -hmm. Just a quick alley-oop around a tree. Horse didn't have enough time to break. I guess I kind of feel bad about that one. But his screams all the way down, kind of fun. Deserved it. Honestly, yeah. Hmm. Nothing else important to do? Man, being a lord must rock if you just get to lay around on the ground all the time. I'm hiding. From who? Anyone who wants to talk to me, and there's like a million people. I wanted to talk to you. I know. That's why I'm here. Hmm. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you missed me. I'm glad you're alive. Same. <sighs> We're gonna have to deal with the rest of the Dread Knives eventually. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. I'm just not sure how that works right now, as much as I want to put pressure on it with everything. I'm kind of more worried about these orcs. Yeah, that seems to be the case. They're blocking <sighs> most of the things that we need to do here. Doesn't give me a lot of places to hide right now. That's kind of the frustrating part. Most of the places in the forest are just teeming with them. Yeah, they're getting bolder and bolder. They attacked my carriage when I came into the, the county yesterday. Shit, really? Yeah. Well... What are we gonna do? Lord? Well, the current plan is... Assassination attempts. On the orcs or the dreadnought? I'm gonna... Wait, hold on, back up. On the orcs. Which ones? On the orcs. But they're just orcs. Why would we need to assassinate them? They're not. These ones are different. Like they have rank structure, and they have generals. A group of them. Maybe six or so. Without them, they'll fall apart. Huh? Start fighting each other. Shit, well, I'm great at assassination. When are we going? We'll be going last. They're going to do it in small groups. And with each group passing, they'll probably tighten security more and more and more. Okay. So we just wait for a big enough distraction and just going for the big guy? Like, what's the play here? I don't know the exact details, but I know it's going to involve going into that fucking fortress. I mean, not to brag, but the last fortress we went into, you kind of needed me, so. Ready whenever. I'll let you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna... Go. You owe me... Wine. <sighs> and a blanket. Okay? Sure. Cool. You're gross. Miss your face. <laughs> Bye. See you, Ayla.
Oh, uh, Kyler, has, uh, Venora talked to you yet? No. Not today, at least. <clears throat> Where is she? Damn. I have no idea, honestly. Probably at the, the apothecary. She's yeah. elusive. Yeah. Great. But, um, yeah, she, she'll want to talk to you. If she can. Alright, I'll, uh, swing by and see. Thank you. Close. I am hungry. I need to get something to eat. Afternoon. There's some bread right there. Afternoon. How's it going? Fine, I suppose. Slow kind of day. Ain't nothing happening around town. Mm, as far as I know, no. Afternoon. Mm, sorry. Excuse me. There is a knocking at the door. All of it. Can Can Venora come out and play? Oh. Piece of shit. <laughs> your father smell of elderberries and your mother. Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> I, Get the fuck up here! I told them we've already got one. Get up here! <coughs> Dab me up. Show me a bit. Dab me up. <laughs> Dab me up, my boy. It <laughs> just echoes throughout all. How are you? Oh god. My lord, we've made an announcement. <laughs> I'm good. I'm... Um, trying to remain calm. I'll put it like that. <clears throat> yeah, I heard. Oh? What have you heard? Enough. No one likes being under the thumb of someone else. Yes. Unfortunately, we are oh. backed into the corner as well. Hello. Hello. Up here. Okay, I'll be up there in just one second. Let me make sure I, I, I'm packing Soma's package together real quick. She's packing Soma's package together. I'll be right back. You phrased that really weirdly. I'm grabbing his package. Packing it in there. Are you going? I am. Right. I have to. Yeah, I know. Doesn't mean I like it, though. <clears throat> I know. I'm going for them more than if anything. I know. Inquisitor could probably give two shits. If anything, if I die, I'll buy the moment I get there or not. We are all just tools to them. Yes. That has been made more apparent now than ever. I'm glad I was able to see you before I depart. Yeah, sorry I've been so busy with everything. <laughs> I knew your time would be valuable. An entire right. building project. Even this is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I heard. A wharf. Is a that wharf. it? A wharf to. Uh, Marvers? A wharf? wharf? Who's wharfing? We're building a wharf. Uh, that sh a wharf? He's got will big, even he's got rival big projects Corricatus in itself is the plan. Oh, really? All down there. What's it? Oh yeah, <clears throat> we'll make it work. 
With where we are, right on the deep flow straight, I'm quite surprised, honestly, Nodos never took advantage of the fact that they would almost be more profitable than Corcades. Never had the chance to. Now they do, we have the right avenues. I was just talking to a bunch of nobles from Corcades itself today, actually. Hey, that means that means trade for us will be really good as well, because we'll be right here where all the wharf is. Trade, people. Well, you can already see. Three vessels, merchantile, obviously. Staying within a reasonable distance, mm. given our ever-noisy neighbor. Mm. And uh, you were talking to Tori about getting a ship built? Yeah, um, well, before um, <laughs> your mother left, um, she had found us before when she's swimming precious stones and stuff, things that I kind of look for, for building protectors. That might help. Um, if I can help her fund, if I can help her fund a dredging ship, there's no telling what she could, you know, not a big one, not ginormous, something that a small crew of hers could do. But if she could dredge out there, there's no telling what kind of things she might find for us. She paid for Gems, it this morning, old weapons. Huh? Um, the guy she who I'm building the wars with ship. a, yep, she's got a ship about the, well, she will have a ship about the size of the Imperial <laughs> dinghies for 70 silver, and she's talking to Tang about making the mechanism needed to dredge along the bottom of the ocean. <clears throat> okay, so it's a, be a little bit bigger than, about, about the size, but just a little bit bigger than the buoy boats or whatever? Correct, yes. At least that's okay. the plan. I don't know, she's yeah. working out with, um, Padero. You, uh, Laurel, I said you wanted to talk to me. Yeah, yeah, I went ahead and sold what I could of my, uh, supplies that we had left that we're not taking with us, uh, to Soma. Mm -hmm. Bandages, sterile stitching. Um, <coughs> before we leave, I want to, bless you, I want to leave, um, behind... I want to uh, leave behind with you anything else that we might have, maybe some flash power, just some other stuff that we want to leave behind, whether it's just extra gauze, extra stitching, just in case things run low here while we're gone. Um, I guess he informed you, or, or do you even know yet? <clears throat> I heard about what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what we're being forced to do. Yeah. Um I want to also, since you have that weapon that I bought, I paid 20 silver for it. I don't think it's worth that, but I just wanted the steel out of it to help start making spears for my wood elves if we come back. Um, yeah, we tried to talk about that yesterday. We got interrupted with the mission. Yes. Um, yes. That's what I want. I want to make a couple spears, a couple short swords. I know I'm going to need more than just that to make that, but I'm going to pay you, let you use that up and whatever silver it takes. But also, we were talking about getting you to make some of those cow troughs as well, of those small mists, which you did tell me the price on that. It was, uh, well, we we didn't get the clarification, but you told me 20 silver equals five cow trop bundles, supposedly, so that can probably be scattered out. Uh, yeah, 4 silver 20 gives you an iron misc, which I think counts as a caltrop section, if my understanding yeah, is yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, just a, because I, yeah, because I think they're like this three really three small three little... Five five. Yeah, it's just, hey, they're there, scattered throughout, it'll help stop some people. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, um, um, what do you, so what do you think, um, oh gosh... Do you want me to make... What's your going rate for... Mm -hmm. Do you want Go me to ahead. make these caltrops now? How many do you want? I'm looking at the inventory that I have here. I can get you to make all the caltrops. All five bundles for 20 silver. Yep, okay. 20 silver... I'm just writing this down. Mm -hmm. And if I don't come back, at least you have something to defend the walls with or scatter out for these fucking troll riders. 
Yep, that takes a day pass, so we'll say three days. So, twenty... Three. Mm. Okay, um, <laughs> and spears, you said. Yeah, I'm gonna see what type, um, so, how much is your, so I'm gonna start totaling this, how much is a steel spear? Um, uh, a steel spear is seven silver per, not, in, well, that is including the, um, the price of goods. Yeah, I mean, so that's what I would pay you to make the whole thing, yeah. correct? Yes. Okay, give me one second here. There's... Okay, you said seven silver apiece, so... How many do you want? Let me look here. Fourteen... One. Make... Three of them. Three times seven is twenty-one silver. Three mm. spears, steel. And you are you going to be paying for both of these now? Yes. Okay. Yes, I will. Uh... <laughs> As you say this, Kyler, knowing your intuition. She, you can already tell she thinks she's not going to be coming back. All right, let me see here. What are your short swords run for? Iron or steel? Steel. Uh, that would be 10 silver. 10 silver. And I would like to take ten silver, one steel sword, short sword, steel. I'll take one of those. Okay. For now. Oh, if this thing would freaking type ten silver. Equals one steel short. So she'll be giving you basically fifty one silver for five cow trop bundles, three steel spears, and one steel sword. Just whenever it happens, it happens. Okay. I'll go get the coin from downstairs to give to you. Um, let me run in here and get it real quick. Stay right there. I'll be right back. You can tell she's trying to distract herself. Doesn't seem very hopeful about the future. No. Not exactly. But I'd like to think that I'm maybe the optimist. Thank you. Also, um, when I come back into town, I'll be dropping off a key for you with instructions. A key? To what? Yes. To a... Uh, to an ironwood box of mine. Right. <clears throat> it'll, have a, it'll, have, it'll have explicit constructions with it. Okay. You're doing this as a in case I don't come back thing? Yes. Kyler, I am. <clears throat> Be in good hands. I know, but just think of facing Ian Dell at her full might 
knowing everything about magic to its fullest extent. So, I hope for the best. Either way, I'll be stopping by your home before I leave to drop off the key and a couple of scrolls. I'll be around. When should I expect you back? This evening, because I have to meet. I mean, from the a expedition. Oh, I'd say. I think he, the Inquisitor said it was seven days there, seven days back, so if we ain't back by 15 days, consider us long gone. 15 days, 16 at the most. Yeah. Alright. Anyways, um, <laughs> but yes, I will try and speak with, um, you and your father before I head out. Um, but I got some things I need to take care of at the Grove and see if Miss Lottie is back because she's been waiting on me, so. Yeah, she was around here earlier. <clears throat> I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Are you yeah. coming home? I can if you need me. If you want along with. with. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're coming with. Now? Okay. <laughs> if you're free. <clears throat> We're going to. I I need to find uh Miss Lottie cuz she wanted to go with. Yeah, no, she came up to me about that. Uh, she, she needed all your bolts of cloth. Asked if I had any, I didn't, and uh, said that she reimbursed me by if forge. I bite it off all, of all from you. <laughs> Let me go around and find Miss Audio. I feel like it'd be probably a lot better to find her about the If you don't leave town within the next five seconds, you're gonna become skewered. <sighs> the uh, rest of the group are heading back to, you know, where. Uh... Yep. Accepted the contract, the payment, Fizzle so when the time comes, Burn. the Sardillos will. Ah. I had to promise a lot. Oh, I mean, Kyla, we could just. I have good news for you. Oh, he's back. How oh, much is a lot? Your father wants to speak to you and I together. <coughs> Where is he? I'll explain, explain it all later. Inside he's the house. inside, but he's got a line. We're at the end of it. <laughs> it must be a lot because. Um... I'll try and catch up. Lucille was fairly unhappy when he showed up at the vineyard. I'm sure he would make an exception for his, uh, his son to go to cut in the line. I'm just telling him what it is. I'm also not in a hurry. That's fair. I'll be by the front gate in a minute. I'm gonna knock more, on more orders for me, or what was that? That was me. That's a big sack of silver added to the rest. <clears throat> you shouldn't have. It's for me, dumbass, not for you. Knock, knock, knock. Oh. It's for the forge. Hi. Hi. Weird question. Right inside. You have more pull with businesses in town. Could you possibly ask the stable master what it would be to take him off of the hands? 
War horse, right? Yeah. How? No idea. I rent him every time, though, and he comes with me. Um, a war horse is 75 silver. Work horses are much less, but I'm sure we could swing something into our favor. Oh, no. Right. I'll see what I can do. What's his name? Arrow. That's what I call him, anyways. They just call him the white one. Can you explain to me why I have a noble up my ass about some sort of refused order here at the forge? <clears throat> yeah, I can. Do you want to go inside? No. Explain yourself. Okay, they were going to make a cattle prod they were going to use to hurt people with, so we denied it. Are you certain? Because what I've been told is they were tools. Mm -hmm, to by both the armor smith and the noble servants. From my understanding, it was a cattle prod to use on people. A tool. Are you certain? That's what I was told by the armorsmith. So if he's told you something different, then... Bring the idiot armorsmith here, please. Samuel! Yep. Yes? Mr. Samuel told me it was an order for tools. Yeah, cattle prod's a tool. Is it tools, or do you suspect slavery is involved? Well, the slave who dropped off the order was shaking like a leaf, looked fearful that I accepted it, winced, cowered, and then left. Did you speak to the nobleman himself at all? Either of you? No. Nobleman no. is Nolarito. Have you spoken to them? And not about this order. You say that to me like I should know something I've told about you them. about them. Is this the one with the rumors about the flesh and all that? If you could call them rumors. Have we got any proof of that? Nothing that would hold on court. Fine, I'll deal with this. If that's the case, we don't make things here that have to do with any sort of slavery. I agree. That was the understanding I came to after I'd accepted it. Very good. I apologize. That's quite all right. Whatever the fuck this is, make sure it stops and gets away from my four J's up. No, you can't do that. That's yeah. This, my lord, will speak now. Thank you for clarifying. We just war on them. You two can go about your day. The chickens. They give us eggs. I eat the food. Exactly. We are getting food. They won't give us anything if they keep stepping on the floor. Just seems like one of those days, huh? Why should they have a knife? You're allowed Seems a knife. Like it. Well, I don't go around stopping chickens. Why are you being racist device. now? You're the one who's racist. Being racist now. Drow always steal. Sorry, you should punish him for being I racist. I said the Lord me. isn't like you, though. The Lord is better than you. I'm going to give the Hobbit back a knife. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He is so much better than you. Yeah. What about this? Yeah. Has the Lord ever done that? Oh, you little bitch. Uh, you, you need to be that. able to defend yourself, so that's on you. Do it again. Mm. I'm going you. <laughs> I don't have any laces, you idiot. They're slip-ons. Shit. He's going to unvelcro <laughs> your shoes. This is on you. What the fuck? I'm going to unshoe your shoe. I'm gonna I don't understand why you let your father get mad at you when it was clearly my decision. Well, I made the call. It's not your fault. We're gonna get him out at you. Yes. Also, uh, it was. I made the call before you came back. You want to find it out? was also okay, a hunch. Real. I didn't what verify, but how the, the slave was do acting, it. he knew. I begin coughing in three days. It's just the reading I got off Sarah, of him. Stop hexing my hobbit. You're a good man, Samuel. Okay. It didn't work. Yeah. Run with it, right. pointy Sorry. side, not You're fine. pointed at you. Hold up like this. They do things because they're right, not, not because they're easy. Yes. Yeah, but not pointed at us either. Yes. Oh. <clears throat> Very good. There's still the issue of returning the silver, unless impressive. your father's going to take care of that. Is he? <clears throat> yes. You can't be wielding the weapons stop me. The guards didn't stop me. The guards actually were laughing. It was the other people trying to stop me. I didn't. I had a knee or an elbow, an elf in the nuts. Listen, he tried to listen. capture me. 
Do you want the silver back to give to your father when he goes to deal with it, or...? Um, I'm sure he'll come and talk to you if he needs it. <clears throat> we'll get it back either way. Okay. I just haven't... I haven't added it to my diary. I've kept it separate. I see. He needs to be able to defend himself with starting with chickens. I'm her squire. Thank you very much. But noted. Uh, I just I figured... What you are. Whatever. I'll call on to it if he needs it. He'll come grab it from me. Yep. And I'll still keep it separate of you know Ode to X. Joseph, Good Sarah, man. Sarah, Joseph. Nice to meet you. Uh, Joseph. Uh, How can I help? Had a bit of a what a stupid for you. name for stupid a bit of security. Uh, you're gonna what I guess, the ways. Um, as for it concerns the uh, ammunition, but no stabbing. For the defense of the. Feel like I have to make that um, say. What do you think Go I've on. been doing? I'm following orders. Being in the way. Well, uh, under the. Contract signed between me and the Radads. I've been working. Me and my sister have been working, uh, getting all the arrows, bolts made for the men, and we have been able to fulfill that contract well enough. The dilemma we're running into is with me helping Tang with the ballista construction, and the biggest thing, ballista bolt construction. It's eating into a lot of time and personal funds, since that's been more something I've been contributing out of my own pocket. It's Very getting generous. quite severe to the point. Okay, so like one that I may be starting to yeah. lose more coin than I'm receiving, even after increasing prices. Okay, I will. And the worst part is the more ballista me and Tang create, the more ammo they're going to need for defending the town. It's not, I'm not at a critical juncture right now, but it, in the coming days or weeks, it's starting to, it's going to become a problem. Your low on funds is the main thing. Of all the things to find, it, not, not, all not even funds, more, I would say more manpower. I can, I can spend a lot of time making we weapons for either mercenaries or soldiers. I've been spending a lot of time on that, but it, between just me and my assistants, we're having a, we're making a point where we kind of have to decide whether, whether to prioritize weapons for the guards or more heavy weapons for the, the ballista bolts and bolts themselves. It's more, of a, it's more of a focus priority, I guess. I would ask, what do you think would be more... I, I, I would want to ask, what do you think would be better to prioritize on? Let's prioritize the bolts for now, the, uh, the list of bolts for now. Okay. We can take out the right. things at the other arrows. Does this need to happen in my forge? Young, young miss, young miss, come I'm here, I'm very come busy here. right now. Excuse you me. look gorgeous. My lady, my right lady. Beautiful woman, yes. Beautiful. Wow, stunning. Flowers, lady. Careful now, you'll be knocking out all the boys. <sighs> Thank you trade. again. I feel like my blue will compliment your oh. eyes. Never bow too low. <laughs> as much as it's. Prioritize the ballista bolts. Pain. We can cut down the other enemies that the arrows would otherwise do in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but the things that the list of bolts are going to be used on, we have no chance with the kids' swords. Agreed? Now you let me know if you need any extra funding to hire on more help. If that would help it, I can definitely do that. I have coin to spare for this. And then there's an elf one with beautiful black hair. Very well. I'll focus my own efforts now, and if I run down the hang-ups there, you'll be the first to know. Good man. I'm a man. I won't take it. Care, take any more of your time. Would you like Good day. Flower, young lady? No, okay. I'll pass. What'd you, nothing. What'd you do to my hobbit? What'd you do to my hobbit? Nah. No. Right. Oh, Viff. He's fine. I didn't do anything. A few of them are going on ahead to go check up on the small, the small hobbits in home. You and I will meet them, obviously, back at home. Yeah. I'm waiting we'll on this. Preferably uh, whenever you're ready. Yeah, I'm waiting on this meeting with them. Wait, hold on. After that, then I can Ooh. come. <coughs> mm, I'm going with you. The thing is, I'll have to show you the new ways to get there. So. Yeah, please, I always get lost going in there. Oh, don't worry. We've managed to kind of... Not really pave, but we've... Put a bit of a new pathway. Mm -hmm. Should be a lot more beneficial seeing it's on the other side of the river. Less chance, if not almost barely any, for the orcs. So. Mm. I think she is called a rough DM already, though. Give me a moment, I'm gonna go grab my thing. I'll be back.
What did you do? Swiftest granny in the I told her I'm not a rookie. Is there something I can help you with, man? You'd make a king. I like him. You, you, nah. Name's Kaz. Just waiting for, uh, your dad to come back out. Unless he, unless yeah. Maureen has already left, in which case I'll just leave this drawing with you. I don't know what it's about, but if you want me to give it to him, I can. This one actually would look very it's nice just sword design. Excuse me. I don't know if he's out or not. I would assume not. Uh, he's in a meeting right now. For too long. <laughs> ah, perfect. Inside the house? Yep. You, you'll see him. Yeah, then it's then it's exactly who I thought it was. They haven't left yet. Thank you, though. Of course. Let me see. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. That was like really close, gunshot, but okay. <laughs> I, I didn't hear it. Right back, chat. <clears throat> Ugh, man. Just saying. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. You rescind your lie statement. I didn't lie. You... Here, there's a weaponsmith right here. Just wander past. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's, he, he's practicing right now. Okay. Oh, okay. It took you that long to come up with the comeback. Having them sell off the cassetto. Hmm. Or, I'm uh, sorry, of the coricators. But even that takes too long, and that ship's not meant for carrying goods. Wait. I have half a stock at a warehouse in Corano. We could ship this. We, if we can ship this stuff up to there, it can be moved out by wagon. Yeah, not wrong. The bridge should be down by now, with the robber baron having been dealt with. We could get a small supply of income from that, but that too will still be slow. It'll take five, six days for the wagons to go there and come back. Mm. But it'll help. We're talking about logistics. Trying to get some more silver coming and going. I've talked to him about your initial talks with Gomar, though I saw you with him earlier. Yes, um, I'll, I'll go through it quick. Um, there's a few nobles from Coracadus that showed up today that had a few concerns about the project, but once I put them aside, they've agreed to open up trade routes from here to Coracadus. Of course. Coracadus? Yeah, that would mean having to build the wharf first, <laughs> though. <clears throat> 
That's not a bad thing, my boy. If, if you were able to secure that, if we get some warehouses built um, along the piers, maybe into the mountain that the castle's on for space, and give these merchants some room for their goods, we might be able to kickstart this strong. Mm. And we'll be able to take the wood from clearing out in front of the castle. Yep, that was all the plan. We'll use that lumber. I've already, already put the word out for a few of the uh, townsfolk that will be asking for volunteers, and we'll pay them a small wage if they're willing to help us clear it out. Um, as for the nobles, they How gave much? me, I said, round a silver, probably a little less. Depends on the person. <clears throat> um, talk. It's very generous. It is, but I thought about offering food, but we're in shortage of that. It's also a little risky with the orcs around, so I figured fair pay. Mm. Um, these nobles gave me the word Good that they were interested in it and that they will uh, they definitely want to come and look at the docks beforehand, but they seemed very interested. They get as much out of this as we would once the uh, wharf is made. <clears throat> does that help put your mind at ease? It does. If you we know, can get ourselves connected to, to Korakadas uh, and ensure that we get those shipments, we're going to be sitting on silver and we'll be able to start pouring it into the infrastructure that needs it while pocketing mm. some ourselves for our hard work. It would at least help tremendously. There's actually one final thing I want to bring up. The area around my vineyard, I know you said you had security concerns involving the brush and everything. Well, the orcs, they seem to be getting a bit closer. That's some small sightings closer to the mill, but around the forest, getting closer to my vineyards, there have been sp spottings of them as well. Somebody even poised the idea of maybe even building a sentry tower on the rock that just hangs over my vineyard. The Not just for my is, own security. As... better as we would feel with having that in place, the forest in front of it is still thick. We could build all the sentry mm. towers in the world, but if you can't penetrate with your eyesight <clears throat> all of the foliage, then it's no good. My intent mm. is to have most of that... God, unless we have a company of dwarves, it's going to take forever. A smattering of the rock closest to the schoolhouse slowly picked away. Used as stone elsewhere, but so we can get a firm wall that has some distance away from any sort of elevation. It's going to be hard work, but I intend to get a wall around your vineyard. <laughs> That would at least put the minds at ease of some people. Salazar, Azir, my wife. For now, I think all the openings in your walls, you should start installing gates just to be safe. Let's see what I can do, but after... After the purchase of the Sardillo Company, I'm a little short on funds. When I'm able to, I'll try. Very well. Very well. Also, I don't condone this idea. But one of the people who has come around my vineyard to bring aid, they're an Elven Ranger. I brought the idea of don't laugh at me this was just an idea in a fit of rage raiding some of the nearby orc camps for foods food do you know what they eat? us I know it was a thought in a fit of rage after hearing the nobleman who came by and bought food from not just bought, took food from the tavern As far as I know, the only orc encampment is that 
damnable fortress itself. Hmm. Apparently she reported there's a few small camps around the area, probably hunting camps. If they can't Likely catch that. any people off guard. Staging points by the sound of it. It was just... For raid. Potentially. Likely. That's what it seems to be. Until I have further information, I won't be able to advise you. I would take the men and women you have and start training them as best you can. Make sure they're vigilant. I know it's asking a lot, but maybe increase their pay. Do what you have to to get that little bump in revenue. I understand. I hate to say this, but work a little closer with Nolzus. Sell your product through her at increased prices at the arena. <coughs> well, I plan to talk to her tomorrow and reorganize my prior sponsorship with her. So. Good. Just hoping we can make something good of that. Also, that I've, how it turns out. I've kind of thrown this idea to the side now, but I had thought of Maybe having a meeting with the Baroness as the possibility of acquisition the former robber Baron to train my men, discipline them. But I know that would give me in bad light with the rest of the nobles, so I do not think it'd be such a good idea anymore. At this point, I would say do whatever the fuck you have to. The other nobles aren't contributing anything. Some of them can't, even if they wanted to. The loss of their corrupt benefactors hamstrung a lot of their lines to the treasury. Ro. You have a mercenary company. Use them to train your people. That's a good idea. They're good I'll fighters. Send a missive tonight, see if I can't get a few men. Yes, but they are constantly at war with the orcs, considering they sit on the front line. I do not know if they can spare men to train others. There's 800 of them. They could spare five men to train yours. Wounded men or something. They're contracted mm. to you, Jaheen. They've taken the money you command them. Do not let them let you think otherwise. Maybe with that I can find out what they may really want outside of what I've given them already. Not a bad idea. Get in their minds. Speak with some of their men. Maybe something will slip. What better than to learn secrets over a cup of ale, am I right? Exactly. Let me know how it goes. Will do. Other than that, I have nothing else to tell. Just hoping that Very well. it all comes to fruition. What better than to learn secrets over a cup of ale, am I right? Exactly. Let me know how it goes. Will do. Other than that, I have nothing else to tell. Here's hoping that... <laughs>